All right. Uh, we've got a major update in the Derek Chauvin case. In fact, there's a couple of cases. There's a state and the federal case. Uh, you know he was convicted in the state case, and that was a giant moment. Um, well, we have another uh, potentially big moment here as he's changed his plea in the federal case. Uh, what did he change it to, and is it good news or bad news? Well, it's a little bit of both, if you ask me, but mainly good news. So I'm going to explain all that in a second. But first, uh, we want to thank our sponsor for this live video, aspiration.com slash TYT. You can get interest rates as high as 5%, which is unheard of if you went to the big banks. Uh, and when you put your money in Aspiration Day, don't put it in uh, the dirty industries. Like, did you know that if you have it in a big bank, they use your deposits uh, for investing in things like private prisons and oil companies? I don't want my money going to private prisons, even if they have Derek Chauvin in them. You should go to a public prison. Anyways, Aspiration keeps your money clean from all that. It helps you plant uh, trees, and you get the best rates. Aspiration.com slash TYT. We'll put the link down below later as well, but it's very easy to remember. All right, so what happened here? Well, Chauvin uh, was pleading not guilty uh, to the federal charges of violating um, uh, George Floyd's civil rights, uh, but he has now changed his plea to guilty. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So, now, uh, there's going to be upsides and downsides to this, like I said. But first, let me give you the details, okay? Um, now, quoting the new, uh, Washington Post. Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer convicted of murdering George Floyd, pled guilty Wednesday, that's today, obviously, to separate federal charges that he violated Floyd's civil rights. So, that's basically what I just told you. As part of a deal, Chauvin pled guilty to one count of violating Floyd's civil rights and to one count of violating the rights of a 14-year-old in a separate case. That's where he uh, beat a 14-year-old with a flashlight, uh, and that was in 2017. Prosecutors said the other related charges to those cases would be dismissed. So he's just got those two charges that he's pleading guilty to. So one, uh, on the upside, you got a guilty plea here, which is very important. Slight downside, and that's normal in these plea deals, they get rid of the other charges. Now there's going to be another upside and downside here with the next sentence. Prosecutors said that they would recommend a sentence of 300 months in federal prison to be served concurrently with a sentence on the murder conviction. Now I'm going to tell you why that's so important. Uh, and by the way, uh, I should let you guys know in the live videos, if you do super uh, chat, I'll try to uh, do a shout out. If you sign up to be a member by hitting the join button below, I'll try to do a shout out. And uh, and if you do, if you want to do uh, super thanks later when the video is no longer live, that's awesome and makes a big difference. Okay, so um, the three hundred months is a lot of months. Uh, that's a heavy sentence uh, for federal civil rights violations. Here, obviously, uh, this case, uh, George Floyd died, so it makes sense to have a very heavy sentence. Um, but it is served concurrently. So that's the main, main reason that Chauvin is doing it. Concurrently means at the same time as his state sentence. So they're not at, his state sentence was 22 and a half years. So they're not adding another 300 months on top of that. No, they're letting him serve at the same time. So that's the re main reason why Chauvin pleads guilty. Um, but there's more good news uh, from the perspective of people who care about justice and obviously George Floyd's family. He has to say in open court, remember, he's still appealing his state cases. So he's trying to get out of those still. So now he's on the hook for 300 months anyway. And the judge was super clear. He said, you know, you understand that this there's no more appeals after this. Once you agree to this, it is over. You are admitting to guilt. And he said repeatedly that he understands and that he is guilty of these charges so you've got that 300 months in a sense locked in at the federal level so that's great news so that's your safety valve in case something goes wrong in appeals in the state court and on top of that uh it obviously does not help his appeal to admit guilt uh to in this federal case so it looks like this is basically him saying okay as long as you don't add time to the 22 and a half years uh, I'm going to admit to guilt here, okay? And not only is he is a federal case over, uh, and he'll go to prison for that no matter what, but on top of that, uh, this greatly reduces his chances of appeal at the state level. And even if he wins on appeal, he's still locked in 
quite literally to the 300 man, uh, month sentence. So Floyd's family was very happy about this outcome. Uh, and that's important as well. Now, let me give you what he said on the record, which is the, the icing on the cake in a sense, and can be, I presume, can be used in the state court case against him as well in case something goes wrong on appeal. Um, judge asked him, you held your knee, your left knee across Mr. Floyd's neck, back and shoulder, and your right knee across Mr. Floyd's back and arm. Uh, Chauvin said, correct. Because remember, he didn't testify during the state trial. That's why getting him on the record uh, in open court here as part of this guilty plea is also important. Uh, the prosecutor, I'm sorry, the judge asked him that. Um, the prosecutor asked him that, not the judge. The prosecutor continued, this is Mr. Floyd lay on the ground, handcuffed and unresisting. Chauvin replied, correct. You kept your knees on Mr. Floyd's neck and body even after Mr. Floyd became unresponsive. Obviously, that's very important. This is him saying, yeah, I knew he wasn't moving. I knew he was unresponsive. And that means at a bare minimum that he was unconscious and potentially dying. And you still didn't move your knee. And Chauvin replies, correct. So there he is in open court admitting guilt uh, and taking the basically the plea deal. Uh, at the federal level. So now there's still cases ongoing because there's other charges at the state level. Uh, and uh, his there's his co-defendants, three, the three other police officers who were there. But at this point, Chauvin, totally guilty and, and admittedly so, convicted at the state level and now at the federal level. So, hey, we got some justice in America. Doesn't happen often. So that's that's overall very, very good news, and we will definitely take it. And remember, the bad old days, as in a couple of years ago, when we would almost never get justice. So I think this is a great development. Uh, so I, I think uh, very good news today, and I want to make sure that I shared it with you guys. Do one last uh, plug in the live video here. Don't forget, uh, they still have the huge Christmas bundles and specials where you can save a lot of money at twostrongcoffee.com slash TYT. They have the Santa mug, of course, that I've been bragging about. Santa's progressive and Jesus is too. Uh, and uh, we'll put that link down below too. But, you know, around Christmas is the best time to get the savings. So make sure you go take advantage of that at twostrongcoffee.com slash TYT. All right, much love. Uh, whole show coming up for you guys at 6 o'clock Eastern live, as you know. And at 5.30, there's some uh, interviews as well. Uh, so we'll see you there.